Yo, what is going on guys? It is LC Bronze or Bronze here with episode 4 of our Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. And in the last episode, I'm not going to spoil anything, but we did take on Brock. And it was kind of a, a little something tragic happened in there. But anyways, we're going to do, I don't know why I'm walking around, but we're going to do a team recap. Okay, so we have our, our newest team member, which is Sparky, our level 10 Magnemite. He is a quirky nature, which... I'm guessing raise a special attack, I do not remember, but he does have Sturdy, which I'm happy about. And he has Thundershock, Tackle, and Metal Sound. And next we have Naruto, still no training, level 4 with Scratch Harden. And we we need to start training him, because we need more like valuable pokes on the team. And then we have our starter, the level 12 Dundee, Totodile, which were with Scratch, Leer, and Rage. And yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get our running shoes. To talk to you. I'm glad I caught up with t to you. I'm Prof. Oak Oak's aide. Okay, okay. Oh god, sorry about that. I just burped. <laughs> okay, we got the running shoes. Alright. Well, I must be going back to the lab. Bye bye. Alright, see you later, alligator. I don't care. I don't care, mom. Give them the running shoes on just to leave. Alright, so I'm just. I'm gonna try to skip as many trainers as I can. I, I'm not ready to, ready for this. Hey, I saw you in Viridian Forest. I bet you did. I bet you did. Rocker Jonathan. A whooper. A freaking whooper. Nah, man. Right, scratch. 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 That's the Scratch. <laughs> Alright. Cascoon. I probably should have switched, and I could have... I'm going to do that so he at least gets some experience. But hopefully we find the EXP share somewhere on the floor, so it'll be easier to train, like, the weaker pokes on our team. <coughs> Naruto. <laughs> oh, we learned water again. Heck yeah, dude. But now we don't have to... No, or now that we don't have to switch train Sparky, he could like, handle stuff on his own. And, and he actually hits hard, too, so... That just lowers my attack, bruh. Alright, Jonathan. Du -du -du -du. I like shorts. Okay, okay, Joey, calm down. Calm down, Joey. Juggler, Jasmine. <laughs> Woman. No. Alright, Sparky. Sparky, you could demolish these people. Bubble, uh uh, that ain't gonna do nothing. You ate that up. Alright, but, anyways, we should get in today's question of the day, and it is S Pokemon Sun and Moon starter. So. Out of the starters, when I first saw it, I was like, Team Alec. Because, yeah, cause, along with everybody else. But the more that I watched the trailer, because I watched it like five times in a row, I was like so hyped. But the more and more I watched it, the more and more I got... Like, I thought Litten was such a terrible looking Pokemon. It just had this blank face on his... Bl blank look on his face. And I just thought it was a generic cat Pokemon. But the more and more I look at it, I see so much potential for Litten. And I am going to use Litten, maybe, depending on his evolutions, but I think Litten has the potential of being the, f like, one of the, f or not the first, because we have Raikou, but the first non-legendary Sabertooth Tiger, which, oh my god, if, I don't think I've ever talked about it, but if you know me on a personal basis, I love Sabertooth Tigers, and that would just be amazing to use, like, honestly. I would love it so much because it has, if you look at it, it's, and like everybody thinks the fire type starters are like on the Chinese like something, something wheel looking thing, and they're like so far every fire type Pokemon has been that way, but, and the next is Tiger, so for Litten, he's the one that matches up with him the most, and I think he does have the potential for being a Sabertooth Tiger, and I... I'm just so excited for that, like honestly guys, I can't wait to see what his evolutions are going to look like, I can't wait for all of them, I think Pop Leo looks amazing, honestly, and I know my brother's going to be getting Pop Leo as his starter, and I think Alad's evolutions, like, at least to me, if you guys have ever watched um, um, Avatar The Last Airbender, if you guys remember that episode that they went to like the underground, um, whatchamacallit, library? And there was that big owl and stuff. I think 
that's what he's gonna like end up looking like. I don't know. I just have like that in my mind. I guess it's kind of weird, but hey, I think that's a little cool. And I think like hmm, I honestly don't know what I think Pop Pop Leo is gonna be. I think he's just gonna be um just like the sea lion, circus sea lions. But anyways, I guess. We could just talk about the typings that I think they're going to be, because I have some interesting theories, sort of. Yeah, I do, actually. First, we'll just talk about Rowlet, because we already know he is going to be uh, grass flying, no doubt about that. It's not like he's going to be like fly or um, grass like dragon or something, because he's an owl, but yeah. And then next is Poplio. I have a couple interesting things, I don't know, but um... If you guys know like Pop Leo and like the Sea Lion Pokemon that they have those ear things, like they have the ears that extend out. A lot of people are arguing with me and saying that it's Pop Leo's part dog, but it's not. That's what a Sea Lion looks like, guys. That's what it looks like. But <laughs> so yeah. But and then also, I think that's gonna be either pure water type or a water psychic type. And the reason why I say water psychic type is because he blow like he could make the bubbles like out of his nose, which isn't a big thing for psychic, but just like based around like his whole like sea line thing. I think he's gonna end up being like a sort of like psychic type, in my opinion, that's what I think. And then for Litten, everybody's gonna think he's gonna be Do we get anything? I thought we get like a rare candy right here. Maybe not. But everybody thinks he's gonna be a uh, fire dark type, and I don't disagree with them. I think he has the potential for being a dark fire type, but in my opinion, I see. Like, if you look at the markings on his legs, I know they're just stripes, but oh my god, look, this is a first encounter, too. I did not realize. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have a pseudo on our team. Do not crit. Okay, so we're gonna throw some balls here. <laughs> uh, luxury ball. I'm gonna save that just in case we meet a Pokemon that needs friendship. But anyways, what we're catching this thing. <laughs> um, I think if you look at the markings on Litten, and yes, we caught it. If you look at the markings on him, I I see Ghost type, and I'll explain why in a minute after we rename him or name him. So as you know, in pretty much all my LPs, if I have a Dragon type or the dragon looking Pokemon. I name him Kratos, but this is a female, so I'm gonna name this Kratos. As I did before. In another one of my LPs, but Kratos. Um, should we add him to the team? I think we are. I think we should add him to the team. Kratos is our new member, so yeah. Alright, so anyways, going back to the topic. Um, actually let's check let's check this guy out real quick. A bashful nature. Alright, alright, he's decent. Or she's decent, but anyways, going back to the topic about him being part ghost type. Thank God we didn't get this thing. <laughs> but I honestly see it in him. I feel like he could be like a mummy cat, like a pharaoh cat. He has like that blank look on his face. How um I forgot what they're called, but those like ancient cats would have. I see that in lit in Litten. So I see the potential of him having the ghost typing. So let me know what you guys think, but about that also, but I think his, for his design, you could potentially see, be seeing um, like the mummy wrap around him, and I think that would be really cool, really cool idea. That's my theory. Nobody will steal it, or else I'll sue you. I'm just kidding. Just kidding, guys. It, just share your opinions if you agree with me. Cool. If not, then cool. But yeah, share your own. And hello there, lady. I'm not a oh, laddie. I'm stupid. Have I got? Have I got a good deal for you? I'll let you have a secret look at my magic hop. Yes. An octillery? What? <laughs> what? Yo, an octillery? Suctions. I'm just gonna name him Suction. And I don't, I'm not gonna put him on the squad just yet or on the team because we do have a water type and. We have four Pokemon trained this early. A bold nature. Ooh, that's not that's not bad. He has water gun. Okay, so definitely if anything happens to Dundee, knock on wood. Um we'll definitely pick up Octillery. 
because that's a cool Pokemon. I've never actually used him on the LP. Alright, so let's put him over there. Let's put you over there. Boom. Alright, so... That, that's actually cool artillery. Hmm. But yeah, alright, so we're gonna get started because we do get another encounter. So we have three encounters this episode. And if this thing's like a fire type, we'll, we will add him to the squad because we do need a fire type. Bind, I'm definitely gonna sell that. <laughs> alright, so let's see what our encounter is. Oh my god, it's a why not? I don't know if I wanna. I'm gonna scout out what he has. I'm just gonna go for metal sound. Let's scout out what moves he has. So he just has splash. I honestly don't want to use this guy. Get a crit, please. Just kidding. All right. So <laughs> we'll throw some pokeballs at him. All right. Get in the ball. Why not get in the ball? Uh, why not get in the ball? Uh. Oh. Why? Why not? Why not? Okay. We'll do old caps. We'll do old caps for this. Why not? Perfect name. <laughs> I am not gonna use him on team, guys. He's terrible. Like, if anything happens to a lot of our squad members, then I might pick him up, maybe. But there, there's no promise in that. Not at all. Okay, let's drop you off in the lineup. Alright. So... I'm actually gonna skedaddle on through this cave. Shadow attack, goddamn it! <laughs> Charm. Thank God he doesn't have like counter or anything. <gasps> we could have had a Cyndaquil. Oh my God! What the heck, dude? We could have had Return of Taquito. Why? Why did you have to do this to me? No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, I actually want to go pick up some items over here. Get out my face, Cyndaquil. Okay, there. There it is. A Togepi. See, I'd even have a, rather have a Togepi over Why Not. At least Togetic is useful. A shell Bell. Alright, that's not, that's not too bad. I'm actually going to put that on. It's like a weaker version of Leftovers. Light ball. See, if we ever get a Pikachu, I, I'll definitely be down to use him because we have that, but. I'm actually gonna throw the Shell Bell on somebody. Wait, let's see exactly what it does. An item to hold, be held by a Pokemon. The holding Pokemon regains some HP upon striking the foe. Ah, alright. Oh, Browns, I can't use that. I'm sorry. I think we can give this to Dundee. Alright. And the Light Ball. Yep, Pikachu. Pikachu! Pika Pika! Alright, I'm gonna lead with Dundee here. Cause I... I don't wanna risk training Kratos in here. Because... I'm scared. Cause we're gonna have a grind, our first grinding montage next episode. Alright, we'll just scratch. Oh, thank you. Let's see how much we actually gain. We have two. We only gain one HP. Nice. I guess it, it's not the worst thing in the world. We might be able to live like on one HP after using this. So, 14. Oh, I can't wait for him to evolve. I guess we we'll switch train Kratos, Kratos right here. I don't want to risk using him. I was about to say we'll just take him out with bite, but I don't want to risk it. Water gun. Ooh, get one shot in nerd. Oh, we actually can I guess it, it depends on how much damage we do, how much um, HP we get back. A smear goal? I'd rather have a smear goal too. We can't we can't leave? Yes, yeah, struggle. <laughs> oh. So if we like one shot like a Pokemon that has a lot of HP, would we get like half our HP back or something? Level 15, ooh. Three more levels in this baby gets C ball. This thing has shadow tag yet. I guess we could go out to Kratos for this. Oh, it has shadow tag, duh. I just got done saying it had shadow tag. Water gun. Catch this water gun. Oh, this water gun. Okay, well, encore. I don't care. 
Alright. We'll switch back out to... To, um, Sparky here. There we go. Just, like, ditched him. Alright. Oh my god, Sparky. Just take the... Just destroy this guy's life. Alright. Thank you. And I'm not gonna... See... There's all these like potentially good Pokemon in here, and then we get a freaking why not a Nidoran male. Oh, I would love to have that. What the hell? A trap. Oh my god, guys. And we got a why not out of every a freaking Corpish, dude. Oh, you don't understand how much I love Corpish. A Rotata. I'd even rather have a Rotata, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Alright, PP Max. Should we battle him? Nah. Nah, he's too stupid to turn around. <laughs> Alright, Nidoran, female. Slowpoke? Oh, I love Slowpoke. Is it just me, or have we been, like, running in or seeing, like, a lot of good water type Pokemon lately? Alright, oh, why not? Here's this nerd again. You trying to charm me? Oh, boy, you can't charm me. Alright. We Team Rocket shall find the fossils. Reviving Pokemon from within or from them will earn us huge riches. I'm not gonna get, get rich boy because champion Chris and oh god, let's watch out. Oh, it's too soon, man. It's too soon. <laughs> oh this is oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Pico, Mrs. Pico died. She got hit by a bolt of electricity. <laughs> Two water types. Come on. Snap out, there we go. Called that snap out too. Boom. Alright. So let's get this moonstone or whatever it's going to be. Dude, this cave is actually gonna be good to train in. <laughs> Honestly, do a grinding montage a smoke ball. Oh, okay. I guess that's not too bad if we have a slow Pokemon that we're leading with. I found these fossils, they're both mine. Okay. Oh yeah, we get a fossil. <laughs> Boss Marilyn. Cubone, okay, we definitely need to switch here. There's no way we're staying in. Bone Club, that did a lot. Or is it just me? Oh. Yeah, see, that did actually a good chunk, so I'm kind of scared. Yeah, we better get healed. An Oddish. Let's go out to Kratos. You can do this, Kratos. Bye. No. But let's just flinch him. Okay, we're switching. We're never gonna be able to do a lot of damage on him. When do we get Sonic Boom? That's my question. Super Sonic. And yet you still don't get hit by confusion, alright. And then you snap out second turn. That's fine. No, I'm Super Sonic. Is, are you not gonna get hurt by Super Sonic? Is, are you just invincible? There you go. Come on, again. There you go, that's Karma. Karma's a B. Okay, we'll go to Kratos and then switch out. On this Takeda. We're facing the wild Takeda. Or not a wild Takeda. <gasps> I, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk anything. We are going to heal. Uh -huh. Ember. Alright. Actually, I think when we leave, in the grinding montage, I'll probably take on, um, the bridge. No, I won't, because we have a rival, a rival event there. So I'm not going to do that. Okay. Helix or dome? Helix or dome? You know what? Now's the perfect time as any to end the episode. Yeah, we'll just end it right here, and you guys could choose which fossil for us to take. So, yeah. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. And with that, it's been Elsie Bronzen. I'm out. Peace.